we continue our series on my commentary on the truth about cancer. We just finished the uh, little segment before called Eat Real Food. And in fact, while we were doing it, the uh, roasted um, uh, pumpkin seeds are almost done. And those pumpkin seeds, with a little sea salt, a little oregano, a little parsley on them, a little coconut oil under them, oh, they're tremendous. So, eat real food. As I finished the last segment, one of the things that I said is a lot of people will come to me and say, well, I'll make sure it's all organic, make sure that it's all this, all that. And we grow a lot of our own food, but we chop out of the, the grocery store. So one of the things that we do when we have real food and we're eating out of the rainbow, we're eating from the variety of colors, which gives you the nutrients that you need, different nutrients. Uh, vitamin A is purple and vitamin C is yellow and, and, and this is red and this has a little calcium in it. So depending on what color you're eating, you're getting different nutrients. But one of the things that we do when we eat real food is we make sure that, let's say that that has grown uh, with pesticides. We're gonna turn our living water system on and rinse it very, very thoroughly with alkaline water, which gets off the oil-based pesticides and herbicides. And at the same time, sometimes you'll read about an E. coli or salmonella scare with greens or whatever. If I turn it all the way up to high acidic, it will take care of any bugs like E. coli or salmonella or uh, 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 giardia, any of those other bugs like that. So we get our vegetables that we get real food, a bath when they come home, high alkaline, get rid of pesticides, oil-based herbicides, acid, get rid of any bugs like salmonella or E. coli. Now, a lot of people will come back to me and say, I understand that I eat real food, but I live in Wisconsin, it's snowing all the time, or it's tough to do, I work for a living, and it's a whole lot easier to get that processed food. I understand that, I understand that. So, let's say that you make a point to eat real food. You have your breakfast medley where you, you chop up those uh, peppers and then you put a little uh, a lemon on it and you saute the vegetables and then you make your eggs together. That's good. But let's say you realize you don't eat 100% real food. You may not eat 95% processed food like the average American, but let's say you only eat 50% real food. I re eat real food, but I've got with our, our company, Valara, a program that I would outline, highlight, encourage everybody to do and get the real food they don't get when they're not eating 100% organic certified food. First is essential shellac, the most comprehensive whole food, multivitamin, multimineral, multi-enzyme, multi-probiotic on the market. The ingredients are all the vegetables that you see in the, uh, in the garden, their grapeseed extract and uh, acerola cherries. And so, if you're not getting seven to 13 servings of fruits and vegetables a day, have this. Next one, a whole segment is gonna be on not eating refined sugar. Sugar feeds cancer cells. We have switched to something called Royal Essentials, which is honey and royal jelly. In fact, when I'm sauteing my vegetables, when we have a salad, I'll use a little bit of this. No sugar, no refined sugar, no aspartame, uh, but a little bit of honey. Third, we want to build the immune system. With real food, we've got a product called Resist that addresses the immune system. And last but not least, every afternoon we have a little replenish break. And replenish is a blend of muscadine, cabernet, and syrah grape juice, but it's also the pumice of the seeds where you get a tremendous amount of nutritional value. We will have that. So, my advice in terms of building your immune system, preventing cancer, being the healthiest you can be is eat real food. You need 100% real food. But if you don't eat 100% real food, make sure you get those seven to 13 servings of fruits and vegetables. Make sure you have honey instead of sugar. Make sure you build your immune system. Make sure you take in nutrients like resveratrol, quercetin, and elagic acid that will just uh, uh, hyper hyper move your immune system into action. So with that, this segment was eat real food and eat real food, but if I'm not eating all real food, get on a program that will get you the nutrients that you need.